Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa has revealed the government's plan to fire 50 chiefs in the Mount Kenya region. The second in command emphasized the need to set the right work environment by removing chiefs who do not follow instructions. Gashagwa's crackdown on illicit brew distillers gains momentum with support from chiefs and police. He was speaking in Tigania West, where he said he was following government orders. He also inquired the number of chiefs and assistant chiefs in Meru, saying if they fire only 10%, it will serve the purpose because some of them do not want to work. Gashagwan has been closely working with chiefs and police officers to hunt down illicit brew distillers in the region, claiming that they are destroying the lives of young people by selling the alcohol to them. Illicit brew has destroyed many lives. Some have died, some have neglected their families during time of responsible responsibilities gashagwa's promise to end all illicit brew cartels in the mount kenya region isn't a shocker as he has declared publicly that he'll make sure administrative chiefs who work in cahoots with the illicit brew sellers face the full force of the law Kenyans are eagerly waiting to see if the second in command will crack down the whip on illicit brew sellers. Do you think when Gashagwa stated that they are fi firing chiefs in order to teach others a lesson, do you think he'll be able to crack down the system where police and administrative chiefs work in cahoots with these traders so that they can sell this brew